Banana TV. Hey guys and girls, it's Kaylee from Banana TV. Today's video is on a question that we got asked that I figured a lot of people are probably wondering about, so I figured I would make a video about it. And that is nutritional yeast. Isn't putting nutritional yeast, isn't putting yeast into our body a bad thing? Aren't we going to have an overgrowth of yeast when we do this? So here it is. When people think of yeast, they usually think of the active form of yeast that's used to bake bread. Nutritional yeast is totally different from this, and there's two types that usually get people a little bit confused. The first is brewer's yeast, and this is grown from hops, or a byproduct of beer. It can be consumed by human, fortified in other foods, or even given to our pets. The second is pure nutritional yeast, and this is either grown through sugarcane, beet molasses, or from wood pulp. And it is grown specifically with human consumption in mind. Pretty much everybody has yeast on it. It can be found in oral cavities, in our digestive tract, even on our skin. But for somebody who is healthy, we have good bacteria in our body, and this good bacteria is what keeps the yeast in check. When our body gets out of balance, so say when we take antibiotics, all hell breaks loose. Antibiotics kill everything, the good and the bad. So what you're left with is often people will start to have a candida overgrowth because there's no good bacteria to keep the yeast in check. Candida, yeast infections, not a good thing. Everybody knows that. They are not fun and they are not healthy for you. They rob your body of nutrients, they are acidic in your blood, and they can eventually start to destroy your digestive tract and leave you without energy. The good news is that nutritional yeast has nothing to do with candida. It's a completely different strain of yeast called Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Plus, it's been heated, so the yeast is no longer active, which means this nutritional yeast will have no effect on your body's candida issues whatsoever. And your body will treat it like any other food. Now the question is, is it a health food? Yeah, maybe not. It is still a processed food. Definitely not something that I would consider to be a whole plant-based food, meaning it should not be the center of your diet. It's a condiment, so treat it as such. Don't have it with every single meal. Don't go overboard with it. Focus your diet on whole plant-based foods. High carb, low fat. That's the key. But to have it every once in a while or to help somebody who is converting from the standard American diet and eating animal products over to a vegan lifestyle, no problems. Thank you guys for watching. I would love to know your comments and questions. Leave them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to make your day wonderful, and I'll see you again soon. Processed meat, so that's things like bacon, sausages, hot dogs, as a class one, type one carcinogen. A type one carcinogen is the most deadly